Please don't tell me he's gone, but no, 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 Everybody is facing um, Shigaraki, including Deku and uh, Bakugo. And then on the other side of things, you have um, Giganto Makia that just gathered up the League of Villains. And then they were making their way toward Shigaraki, I believe. And um, Midnight wanted to stop them, but she couldn't. So she just told Yaoirozu to make a bunch of um, sed sedatives, whatever, to pull uh, Jigoto Makia to sleep. And now they're about to face the students. So I'm like, the students are ready, you know, and able. So, oh my goodness, ah, I'm already, like, I'm excited, I'm excited to see these two group clash and everything, but I'm also worried. Because, you know, Jingo to Makia, man. <laughs> so, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon. I'll be sure you slash me. And I'll just start this episode. And here we go. I've just been sitting here feeling, like, all depressed. Like... I really don't want to talk. When I realized what she correctly was about to do with that little round, I was just like, please, someone stop him. Please, someone stop him. <sighs> Deku tried. He's like Wyoming smash. He tried, man, but like he did not do anything. He did not do anything. And I was also like worried because I was worried and confused because I was also confused. Yeah, worried and confused because when he did the smash on Shigaraki, I'm like, okay, where exactly did he hit him? with that smash i thought he hit him on the head maybe that's what i thought but then you see his arm you see shigaraki biting deku's arm and i'm like what exactly did he do with the arm and how did the arm get into shigaraki's mouth and then you see shigaraki like gnawing at his arm you see the blood coming out of um Deku's arm so I'm like that's basically DNA going into Shigaraki so I'm like I'm here I'm worried is he gonna get one for all you know so there was that and now Aizawa is gonna be losing his quirk which means there's nothing that can stop this dude because it was Aizawa's quirk that was keeping his quirks at bay. He was just using his physical strength to fight against all these heroes. And even that, they were having a hard time dealing with him. And now you have the... Yeah. Aizawa's quirk being deleted. So you don't have that anymore. So it's like... What are, what are you supposed to do? And then you have the Gigantomachia, like the League of Villains versus the U.S. students over there. They were setting this trap for Machia, the... Um, what's his name? All the balls in one, one location attached to this cord. And then they softened the ground under him. And when he just came, he just fell and he's jaw whatever just fell on the balls and it got stuck there and then they were trying to open his mouth and they were open to open the mouth but then they it felt like all of them threw their vial 
Uh, you go to Makia, and I'm like, why? Are you, if you, why is everyone throwing the thing? Well, it's not gonna work, you know. And Makia just sort of like blew the things away, broke them apart, and one else would not. None of it got into his mouth. He got back up. At one point, I saw um, Yao Yao Momo um, burying something in the ground. I'm like, what is she doing? It turns out it was bombs that she basically put under the softened floor and whatnot so that bomb blew up he went back in there under there um that that be at one point unleashes fire so the the, most of them couldn't get through the fire apart from um pinky pinky had her uh uh, mucus what was what's the core called whatever all around her acid all around her and she got through the flame she got in front of um she got to Makia, and then you see mount lady also realizing what the kids were trying to do so she got on top of Makia, opened Makia's mouth was keeping the mouth open and then pinky was just facing him right and then he heard Makia talk and he just brought back this memory of this villain that was threatening her friends or whatever and then she just like got in front of uh, Makia at at that point and I think Makia was asking for the direction to his master or was the police I don't know but either way Pinky had at that time I believe pointed him into the direction of the police station you know so she remembered that and she just basically reverted back to that young scared self of hers and i love how they depicted that with you know how she was in her hero outfit and then they just basically reverted her back to how she was in school in her school clothes like during that time when she was younger and everything like they physically represented her seeing herself back at that time like on screen and everything so by that point she was just she was out of it and she let go of her vial and she was about to get crushed by Makia and then that's when Red Riot like show showed up and pushed her out of the way and you think that Red Riot was crushed but now this this who um got hold of Pinky and he just basically said that, you know, that's that's who faced um, Shoto during the class A versus class B um, thing. And at that point, during that time, Shoto had used fire on Tetsu but Tetsu has been through all this kind of training that fire doesn't really affect him anymore. But... Red Riot has not been through that, so he just basically breathed the fire and just went after Pinky. And I love also that he's the one that went after Pinky because you know he's he's looked up to her for for a long time, you know, seeing her as the as the hero as this hero, you know, and aspired to sort of be like her a little bit. So I'm glad that he was the one that went after her, and then he saved her, and then he was just like crawling up. Um, I cast body and then got up there and he was about to use his vial but um who was it uh, it was um Toga Toga is the one that knocked the vial out of his hand and then he took the one that um Pinky had and threw it you know I'm like why do they keep throwing stuff <laughs> In this particular case, yeah, it got into his mouth. Like, he, he, he broke, I think, on his teeth or something. And then the liquid went into his mouth. But I'm like, don't throw stuff. <laughs> like, the guy's mouth is open. Go as close as possible. And you're like, do. So that there's no chance for you to miss. You know? But it got into his mouth. But it didn't seem like it was working. Um, Creative was like... You guys need to uh, get him to move more, and the more he moves, the more the um, sedative, whatever, is gonna take effect. The sleeping liquid, whatever, is gonna take effect. But then this guy just sort of basically armored himself back up, made himself sort of like even stronger or something. So it's like, 
I don't know, man. Last episode, I was saying when it ended with Yao Momo making all these vials of sedatives and all of that, and I'm like, girl, you're gonna need more. That's what I said. But then, in during this episode, he said that the vials that she made were concentrated vials that has not been diluted. So I'm like, okay, that that makes more sense, I guess. I guess when usually they usually dilute those um sedatives and stuff but in this particular case it was like in its purest form so that made me feel better but then one got into this guy but it, it, he, he kept moving like nothing happened so i'm like is it just gonna take a while to take effect or is it just not gonna affect him at all i they did all these things for one vat to get into his mouth and he's still moving around still arming himself like stronger than he was so it's like you know and then you have like <sighs> i feel like i said in a previous episode that this season was gonna be stressing me out i'm gonna be stressed out throughout this season and yeah there are moments in this episode that are like in this episode in the season that you're like <gasps> that amazes you and everything you get excited for those moments but it's like most of it it's like i'm feeling i'm filled with worry i'm filled with dread i'm feeling with stress because i just don't know how they're gonna stop shigaraki you know with aizawa there and his quirk there that was a, a good thing for us you know he was erasing his quirks so he only had to be he only had to use his um, physical abilities and stuff. And now you've taken away that. So what else is there to stop this dude? I mean, with Aizawa's power gone, he can decay people. So <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini. And you can also see the full info of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.